right, well, Chuck's in the shop. Still trying to get it smogged correctly. Uh, I'm getting ready to walk all the way home from Placentia to Chino Hills. So, wish me luck. Hopefully I don't get ran over in the canyon. Right here is safe, the city, but once I get to the rural part, it gets pretty nuts. Well, all right. Well, let me see the map. Let's see what point A is. The shop. That's right. This map's kind of accurate. This is a driving, it's not a walking accuracy, but. Yeah. The blue part, that's all of what I was walking. And once you get into the green shady area, that's the hills where it turns into the canyon. Canyon, it was the hills and little mountains. It's pretty crazy. And that's where the hours of walking took. Getting from the shop to the canyon was probably like 45 minutes. But once I got into the... So yeah, I've been dealing with this, uh, my fault, procrastinating, and a little bit my fault, a little bit certain times of the year I just have no freaking money, just like you guys mostly, maybe worse, but uh, yeah, it chokes, and uh, it's the first time it didn't pass smog uh, last year, when I took it in last September, because that's when it was due, September of uh, 2023 so my tags are way past expiration I've been pulled over twice I have two fix-it tickets because that's the kind of loser I am <laughs> but uh, anyways nonetheless a year later you know it's already I need 2025 tags and I took it into the shop like a month ago and I wanted to keep it there I just uh, I didn't have no money so Saved up a little money, gave the guy 500 bucks last week for my mechanic. They thought they fixed it, and then they reset the computer on the truck, and the check engine light keeps popping on. It's a EGR differential back sensor, if you guys are familiar with any of that. It really sucks, I could do it myself. I don't have a freaking garage. A garage. I'm renting a room, so... I can't be working on a truck on the street, you know, it's a pretty high-end neighborhood. Um, that's a headache, you know. But I'm going to get my cardio in, not by choice. I don't have no money to take a taxi home. It's like 40 bucks from here to my house. Uh, in a car, it's about probably like 15, 20 minutes. But it is, it's pretty uh, brutal once I get into the canyon where I live. It's going to take like an hour, just a 15 minute drive is an hour hike. So I'm going to get my freaking uh, cardio in, I guess, being positive about it. Anyways, let's go on the adventure. It's going to be like an hour and a half, two hour walk. Let's go party. All right, well, I'm taking a break. It's about 20, 25 minute walk from here, from the mechanic shop to the park where I normally do my routines. So one of the stops anyway. A little bit past though where those cones are. But uh, wish me luck. It's almost the starting point of the canyon. I'm gonna get some cat food and some food for myself, some calories, keep my in intake, you know, energy wise. It's pretty treacherous, pretty hardcore, dangerous as well. There's nowhere to walk in the canyon, so at least it's daytime. So wish me luck. Let's meet up at the starting point of the canyon. Let's go. All right, focus. I'm entering the canyon. Wish me luck again. I'm freaking tired. It's been a uh, 45 minutes, and the real, real crap is ahead. Uh, coming ahead. Woo. Yeah, I don't know if you can see straight ahead. Let me stop so the camera's not bouncing. Those hills back there, that's where I gotta go over. It gets pretty hairy. Good stuff though, good money. 
crap, holy crap, holy crap, I have to piss so bad. Sorry about that, guys and gals. Yeah, go to the bathroom and it's not gonna... I'm gonna stop at Carbon Canyon Regional Park about 10 minutes ahead. I forgot the bathrooms. Hopefully it's as soon as I get there. Because <laughs> I'm about to freaking pop my kidneys, goddammit. Whew! Thought you guys wanted to know that. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. I'm in the park. Can you believe it? I left the mechanic's shop at 8.30. It's freaking 10.07. I mean, I stopped at Albertsons for 10, 15 minutes. I think 10 minutes. Other than that, I've just been trekking. That's, and I'm just, the most brutal part is yet to come. It's like 10 minutes after this park. I have to go up a steep grade of a hill. It's going to take at least a half hour to 40 minutes to cross. Good times, but right now I'm just going to fuel up, you know. At Albertsons I got some. I don't really have much money, so I'm just trying to be economical. Hopefully it doesn't make me sick. I just got some 375 for this little bowl of pasta. Antipasto. Spiral noodles. So... I'm gonna eat this real quick and try to hurry up and get on the road again. Give my legs a 20 minute break, half hour break. My feet are already throbbing. These shoes I'm wearing, these crappy Nikes, they're my super backup shoes from like three years ago. Because all my good shoes I worn the hell out of them. I can't afford to buy shoes. I'm just so poor. <laughs> alright though, it's alright. I'm poor right now and I'll be rich tomorrow. Anyways, I'm going to eat this unless you want to watch me eat it. Probably don't. You want to see the verdict of this? Uh, I think it's got chunks of chicken. It's kind of scary. I hope that's what it is. It's got olive, Kalamata olives. Uh, I'm going to say bell pepper. Yeah. A tomato. Black pepper and uh, I think a uh, or extra virgin olive oil, hopefully for a binder. Let me give a bite. Oh, some artichokes, cool. Love artichokes. Pretty good. It's cold pasta. Not a big fan of that, but if you don't have anything. It's good. <laughs> Especially when you're trying to fuel up to uh, get calories in your body. And I got a serious, serious trek ahead. It's like super dangerous too. Traffic here is ridiculous when they drive in the canyon. I'll show you. Um, I'll see you uh, when I'm going up the Mount Doom up hills. Here we go. The bottom of this mountain. It narrows up right where the turn signal is. 40 mile an hour sign, so let's party. It's peace and quiet for a minute. No traffic. Really cool trails here at Chino Hill State Park. Goes all the way towards Corona. Ends up over here in La Brea, Orange County side. Pretty cool. But trying to concentrate. I'm not getting hit by a fucking car. Excuse my language. Oh, getting some more sunshine. I love that. Burn, baby, burn. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it's already been two hours since I left. I was just joking around. You know, I've walked this before. Um, when I used to work at Walmart, yeah, right down the out of this canyon, it's like ten minutes out of out of the canyon. And I remember I walking it once, and I had steel toe boots on. Oh, 
brutal. It took two and a half hours. And that's, I lived in the, the halfway point of this canyon. So I'm going to the end of, pretty much the end of the canyon. <laughs> so it's going to be a, at least two and a half hours minimum. I think, you know, I'm taking breaks, so I'm not just straight. You know, it's, it's nice weather. If this was hot weather, there's no way I'd do this. It's too dangerous, you know. Heat wise, obviously, the traffic, even though I'm, I got this little white line, you know, people are hauling major ass through here. 60 to 100 miles an hour. Um, I don't personally do that when I drive my truck. 60s as fast as I go just because I'm trying to catch speed and momentum up this hill. But yeah, good times. I get you uh, when I'm halfway up this hill. Some really nice views. Some people, man. Drives me up the wall. I've cleaned up over the past 10 years and plus. Like 13, 14 years I've been out here on and off. Uh, these kind of messes where people just dump off their trash because they don't want to go to the landfill or trying to save a buck. They don't care. Just dump it off here. Ridiculous. Come on. That's really not even that much. They literally could pull into a parking lot. It is illegal, but dump it off into a, a parking lot trash, you know, one of those dump-ins. Open top dump-ins. They're everywhere, you know. They're just lazy, cutting corners as usual. Don't do this, people. Please, beg you. You know, make me freaking angry and sad at the same time. Look at this. Not wrong. Oh, nice, cool, fast lizard. I found me a, a nickel. Pays to walk. Literally, nickel. Sorry about my nails. Got my nails burned. Slowly healing. It's freaking nasty though. Anyways, yeah, nickel, cool. <laughs> hey, it adds up, man. Got a nice gorge. Got the hawks, ravens. It's way up there. I think we're almost at the halfway point. I'll show you the gorge below when I get there. Sunflower. See you ever. Who says a rose cannot bloom in the desert? Oh, geez. All right, check that out. Cool view, huh? It's a gorge. I guess that's what I call it. And really, and behind this is where the red tailed hawks sleep and have nests. I know because I've hiked this before and didn't mess with the nest. Just have pictures I have to dig out. Ooh, almost got me. Ole! Check that out. Let me zoom in a little bit. Yeah, there's usually a nest or two. Kind of dangerous for them. I don't know if they're still there. It looks eroded or washed out from previous year of storms. There used to be like little caves in there. Like tiny case for them, I think. Uh, that's pretty cool. That was like 10 years ago, last time I actually did this. And I went out of my way. It was hot too, man. Crazy. This is good weather. This is awesome weather. This is like barely 70. You know, it's awesome weather to be hiking in. It's a little excessive, but you know what? I don't have much money, so I'm trying to save a buck. But at the same time, I think I wanted to do this anyways, even if I had money, because the experience. It's grueling and treacherous, a little dangerous obviously with the traffic, but 
it's a pretty damn rewarding, you know. Any experience you can get, especially outdoors like this. Uh, I get back on the roads, trying to make it before lunchtime, which or noon time, whatever. I'll give another update in a few minutes. All right, I made it to the top in one piece so far. Exhausted as hell. And almost at the, I think I'm almost at the halfway point. Another half hour of hiking. It's a steady uh, uphill walk too. Nothing like this, obviously, where it's just straight 20, 25%. It's brutal. But yeah, it's a totally steadily, steady incline. So, just taking a breather in the shade. I'm actually starting to sweat, so I gotta keep on top of that. Jake, my water I reserved should be enough to get by. If not, I know a couple of people in the canyon I can wave down or something. <laughs> Hey, throw some water on me. No. Oh, good. Let's get back on the road in a few minutes. Murphy's up here. <laughs> yeah, I want him. I'm worried I'm gonna faint halfway home though. Using all the energy I have just for this long ass. That's gonna be like three and a half hours. Cause I left at 8.30 even with all the stops included. And it's already 11. So that's, yeah, it's gonna be three hours. It's gonna be four hours probably, wow. That's some good chunk of freaking walking and hiking. I don't really have a choice. I mean, uh, I could call a taxi in emergency. I, I don't even think I could, my phone will get a uh, reception out here. I'm gonna get on the road. I'm just having a seat in the rocks. Probably have ants in my shorts. I don't really care. Shake them off. I'm gonna be exhausted. I'm gonna pass out. And one of the worst hills actually is where I, I'm staying at right now. Literally 25% grade. It's like think, brutal. I'll show you when I get there, but right now I'm just trying to survive this. Whoo! Feet. Feet from hell. I'm entering the heart of the canyon where there's not so much the hike, it's the freaking traffic. You know, gonna get, gotta dodge these mother, mother effers. They're not paying attention. I'm gone instantly. So let's do it. Be safe, obviously. Well, it's the creek in the canyon. I think it has water. Should have water. It's probably nasty as hell. It's actually mineral water. It comes from a hot spring. Good to know in case I ever need to boil some, make some water. So, can't really hear anything because it's too much traffic. But I see it. It's pretty neat. Lit, lit. Pretty cool. Pretty neat. Minus that stupid bottle somebody threw on there. Freaking California. We're all not that way, but jeez, it's a good chunk of the people here that just don't kill rats. I don't care about a human's ass. Anyways, I'm going to sit in the shade for a minute. I think I'm at the halfway point. Kind of. Woo, man, <laughs> what an adventure, huh? But it's not an airplane, it's a... Uh, Vehicle going in the center divider, so it's making hitting the city titties and making that propeller sounding effect. Uh, peace and quiet, just for a few seconds. Priceless. Got bamboo shoots coming out of the creek. That's right, bamboo shoots. <laughs> oh! Sorry about that. I just want to hear my echo. I know this is the echo section. Yeah! I gotta get going. I'm freaking exhausted as usual. <laughs> I can do it. Let's go. A lot of people passed away here, unfortunately. I don't know what this story was. I've seen this for the past couple of years, and obviously, they passed away here 314 21. Not even 30 years old. Are they 30? Yeah, he was 30. He's 30 something. 
something. No, 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 he wasn't 30. Damn, my math's terrible. Like 27 or some shit. Anyways, rest in peace, dude. Yeah, it's been unfortunate. The years that I've lived out here, the canyon closes down completely when somebody passes away. And it's happened numerous times. Especially this area right here, these turns. And the reports I read are just... They really have you know, autopsies, obviously, with alcohol, but... Uh, just people, especially the youngsters, you know, they're under 21, sad, super sad. Just their new cars or something, and they test themselves. I remember this one guy, he was only 19, and he had a new Camaro. It was 2013, around that time, and... Yeah, I was, I got to see it, you know, I was riding my bike and the canyon was closed and the vehicle's on the way on the other side of this, uh, over here where the telco pole is, it was like way over on the other side of the creek, so he must have flew and launched and did like three rolls. And yeah, he was done, unfortunately. And they had a memorial here for a long time, they, they don't see it anymore, just like this guy. I don't know what his story was, but it doesn't matter. It's terrible. Young, bright guy, I'm sure. Yeah, they love him. Gotta be careful, man. Gotta be careful. And sometimes it's not even your fault. That's the worst part. Like me walking in the canyon, I literally can get nailed. And it's not even my fault. So, gotta watch out. Let's keep on going. Or I pass out. <laughs> All right, man. Women, sorry. I'm sorry. I feel a little delirious. I'm walking for hours. I might have to see if I can get a ride. I'm already at the halfway point. I don't know if I can make it up. To, I think I'd be all right in the canyon. But the big ass hill on the, where I live. That area, I don't know. That's just super challenging. I don't have enough calories. I'm starting to feel really delirious, like faint almost. I'm trying to hang in there, tough it out. My legs are spaghetti already. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hopefully, I can muster some strength. I'm even carrying this like two or three pounds my sweater and a couple cans of food of, for the cats. It feels like I'm carrying a hundred pounds. Holy mackerel. Wish me luck some more. We'll see. I'll keep you updated. Woo! Man, I want to sleep good tonight if I don't end up in the damn hospital. Jeez. Hopefully I don't just pass out. I feel... Like 40% strength wise. I'm drained, you know. I don't have enough food in me. I'm a dumbass. I should have packed some peanut butter and bread or something. I've been trying to conserve this water. Oh man, somebody's freaking credit card. I'm going to turn it in the mail when I. Get to the house. Somebody probably stole it. Anyways, I think there's there's a market in the town in the canyon here, so I'm gonna aim at least to make it there. There's some really dangerous S turns coming up. I'll show you them when I get there. <laughs> Just in case I get hit. But yeah, holy crap, another card. Oh, damn these people. I probably stole this. Yeah, it's the same person. Wow. Yeah. I'm going to take them to the mailbox and turn them in. I tell you, I find... I, one time riding my bike home from work out here, I found $100 in the frick, on the side of the road just sitting there. I thought it was a 10. I picked it up, put it in my pocket. I was already happy. When I went inside the house, I noticed it, was, it wasn't a 10, it was a 100. I was like, oh man, I felt bad. 
you know, because somebody that's a lot of money. But anyways, I'm gonna get back in the road, trying to keep my mental strength and obviously physical. Muster this. I'm almost at the store market, so at least I can fuel up. Should feel better afterwards. I want to sit there for a minute. Talk to the townsmen, women. All right, let's go. I don't care how exhausted I am. I'm gonna stop and appreciate what I've always appreciated for the 20 some years I've been in Southern California. 30 some. Nice little canyon. Oak trees, chaparrales, hawks, owls, coyotes, all the wildlife. I made it, uh, I'm almost at the store, I'm almost at my old house where I used to live. And if you scroll in my videos, my very first videos, they're pretty hilarious, they're from 10 years ago. I have, uh, you see my house, little cottage or whatever you want to call it. And I'll show you when I stop, pass by there zoom in on the property at least but yeah it's not a take a second appreciate it. minus this traffic behind me <laughs> I don't care about that just that the hills and the nature of course yeah buddies all right yeah I used to live straight across there with, I don't know if you see that white truck Exactly, right behind that truck. That's my house, or was my house. Maybe in the future. Been closed down for four and a half years. Red tagged. Still waiting. Not waiting, but heck, if uh, it opened up, you know, the owner told me it, I'd be the first one to call. Been four and a half years, you know. Why not? Hiking back there. Oh, it's a little cat. Baby just born. Uh, the bulls when they're up there, especially the longhorns, they charge me from like hills over. I see them from a couple of hills over, and uh, I'm like, "Fuck, he's coming towards me!" I'd run and hide in a tree or something. Good time. Just doing some work. So I got half of the canyon to myself. That's pretty cool. At least I feel a little safe somewhat. Unless some dummy doesn't see the cone and goes on the wrong side. Hopefully not. But another 15 minutes. I can't believe it's 12.15. Oh my gosh. Four hours. Insane. Insane. I'm crazy. Freaking 12 o'clock. Let me show you my freaking phone. It's 12 12. Believe that nuts? Am I a lame or what? I feel it goes up and down. It's just the energy thing. You know, my calories have burned them off. So my body's starting to got plenty of reserves, you know. That's what people always think. I need to eat, it's only been once a day. Trust me, people go out days without eating. As long as you got water, be amazed how it reserves on your lining, on your intestinal wall, and uh, throughout your, your whole freaking body. It's nice to have the calorie and keep it up. You reach a uh, threshold, you know, the body will freaking do what it can and help you out. It's the mental stability, keeping the mind in check, you know to do if I start feeling weak or whatever I just look at uh, nature you know right now I'm looking I don't think you can see it's too small looking at a woodpecker oh it's a nest cool let me see if I can zoom that in and that distracts any lameness that's going on feeling weak and stuff 
If you know any wood, about woodpeckers, you recognize their chirps. It's just like a hummingbird. I'm a nerd that way, yep. I'm a freaking outdoors nerd. So much respect for them, always. But I'm gonna keep charging. I don't wanna cause any distractions amongst the workers. Oh, here we go. Seeking refuge under the tree is, I don't think there's any shade from here on out until the S turns, which are 15 minutes away. A nice breeze though, it's not too bad. Mine's stable, kind of. Body's a little bit in shock. I like their spaghetti. So, it's got one more good push. So, I'll hang out here for a minute. I need to go to the bathroom too, it sucks. Uh, let's see if I can make it. Should be able to. Let's go. A little bit tight turn here. Hopefully, I don't get nailed. <laughs> oh, this could be my fate. Oh, damn it. I'm trying to walk on this little curve. So I'm going to get friggin' hit and cause an accident. I don't want to freak people out the last minute. Fucking go out on the other side of the street, cause a two way collision, boom. I'm a star, I'm a star. Right over yonder, almost there. And I gotta go up a massive hill. So, trying to hurry up and get out of the freaking sun. Been walking it for the past 20 minutes. Woo! <laughs> yeah. Alright, I'm gonna shut this off. I'm gonna, super bad right here, super bad. Oh, you want, I should leave it on in case I get hit, huh? I'll leave you guys something to remember me by. Bye! Used my legs to the very end. There we go. Woo! Thank you. No, uh, creating traffic here. No. Alright, cool. Break time. Oh gosh, what a journey, huh? It's gonna be four and a half hours at least. And I thought two and a half, three hours. <laughs> nope, not even close. I've stopped a couple of times. Took 15 minute breaks. The very first one was a half hour break. Where I ate my pasta a couple of hours ago. And it's been, I don't even know, two, three hours. I'm almost there though. So, I'll, last uh, video would be me going up this damn freaking hill where I live. Let's go. All right, folks. Going down the S turns. Very dangerous. I'm trying to use my bag here for a signal. Most people do not walk down this damn highway. I'm a freaking nut job, of course. Oh, here I am. All right, I'm gonna shut this up. Let's go. All right, this is the last mother effer hill, and it's a good one. I know you can't see it from this angle, but you're near. That's really touching the sky when I get to the top. So, I'm here, just gotta make this trek. And that'll be it. I'll see you on the top, at the door. Damn, dude, this is a never ending hill. And it's steep as hell. Give me an idea. See how the house is flat? The road is straight up. So, damn. Not doing too bad. My legs are just exhausted. <laughs> Asthma's acting up a little. Expected. Super winded. But all good. 
Move until steady. Steady. Pulse steady. Stomach hungry. I'm pushing. Pushing. All right, hell yeah. I'm at the top. There's actually one more big hill to live up there, though. One more massive hill that goes all the way to the peak. This is up there, though. It's a thousand feet. It actually snows when it gets cold enough. Pretty trippy. But I'm descending now. Almost at the place I'm at. Whew.